am Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you five ways of joining crochet granny squares. The first method is the sewing method. You can use a yarn needle with either a single strand of yarn or double it to make it stronger. I like to start at the corner. With this sewing technique, you'll always enter from below the square and you'll exit out the top of the square. I like to place my sewing needle underneath both of the loops of the one square and then I place the yarn underneath both of the loops of the second square. You can see it creates a nice flat seam with no bumps, lumps, or ridges. The second method uses slip stitches. First, I place a slip knot on my hook. Then I place the squares with their front sides facing each other. And the back of the two squares will be visible to you as you connect them. I place my hook inside of the corner and make a slip stitch. Then using just the front loop of the square facing you, and the back loop of the other square, insert your hook underneath and make a relatively loose slip knot. Continue with this process underneath all of the stitches. You'll be using the one loop from the square facing you and the one loop from the other square. It creates almost a chain stitch between the two squares and makes them lay nice and flat. For method three, place the back sides of the squares together and have the front side facing you. And insert your crochet hook in the corner and make a slip stitch. With this method, we're going to do a single crochet and add a nice ridge texture between the squares. Make a single crochet in the same space. Then going underneath both loops from the one square and both loops from the other square, make single crochet stitches along the top edge. This creates a nice textured ridge between the two squares. For method number four, we're going to make a mesh between the squares. Connect your yarn in the corner of the front of the one square and chain two. Then make a double crochet in the corner of the back square. You can see how the two squares are joining together. Now, chain one. Skip a stitch and make a double crochet in the next stitch. Then skip a stitch on the back square and make a double crochet in its next stitch. Chain one. Skip a stitch on this front square and make a double crochet in its next stitch. Skip a stitch in the back square and make a double crochet and repeat. You can see how this forms a nice mesh design between the squares. And with the fifth and final method, we're going to do a process called join as you go. I have one completed granny square with the gray edging. For the corner of my orange square, I chain one. Then I slip stitch into the corner of my blue square. Come back around and make three double crochet stitches to complete the corner of the orange square. Chain one, slip stitch into the space of the blue square. Come back to the orange square and make three double crochet stitches in the normal spot for a granny square. Chain one, slip stitch with the blue square again. I'm only chaining one because my spaces only have a chain two. You may need to chain two if your spaces actually have a chain three. You can see how nice this connects the squares together rather seamlessly. And these are five ways I connect granny squares.